What up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Jesus Draws. I'm Jesus. Hopefully, you're having an amazing, beautiful, fantastic, extravagant day. In today's video, over here to the left of me, I got seven canvases, and you guessed it, that's right. For the next week, I'm going to be painting one canvas a day. I'm a little bit nervous about this, but you know, I'm gonna persevere and get through this. Today's Monday, so today's gonna be the first day. It's like 1.30 in the afternoon, so I ain't sleeping until this first canvas is done, and I'm not sleeping until each canvas is done on that individual day. So let's get started on that right away, see how that goes. All right, y'all, so this right here is Monday's painting. And as you saw in the intro, I was eating a bag of chips. Now it wasn't Cheetos. I was eating some flaming hot. Oh no, what were they? They were those uh, those like spicy ass Doritos. I don't even know which ones they are, but they were good as hell. So I was like, I'm gonna draw a bag of chips because I always like when artists redraw like cereal boxes or uh, chips or really any product in like their own style. It always looks cool, and you know it has like a nostalgic feel because it's something that you are familiar with. So I said, alright, I'm gonna do Cheetos because Cheetos are fire. And uh, if you're Hispanic or Mexican or whatever, and you speak Spanish, you call them Chetos. We don't call them Cheetos. You're like, hey, voy a la tienda a comprarme unos Chetos. You don't say, voy a la tienda a comprarme unos Cheetos. Cheetos. <laughs> I don't know, that's like that weird uh, uh, Spanglish talk, I guess. But that's basically the thinking behind this painting and so I went with a bag of chips, chetos, flaming hot and I wanted to make the bag look a little bit different. I didn't want to make it exactly how the bag already looks so here's my little interpretation of Cheetos for Monday. on the next day <laughs> alright guys so I actually lost the audio to this part right here so I'm just gonna dub it you know kind of like an anime or whatever with subtitles so that's me right there there's the Cheetos back there as you can see focus see so that's uh, dia numero dos and let's get on to Tuesday martes <laughs> Alright guys, so right here we got Tuesday, day number two. Now with this one, I was thinking of doing some like abstract line art stuff. Pretty much inspired by this uh, doodle that I did in my sketchbook a couple weeks ago. But I ain't gonna lie guys, this was probably my least favorite painting that I did the whole week. I think it's only because just like the colors that I picked weren't too good. And by the time I finished this, I was just too tired to go back and change the colors. It's really just the background that I didn't really like. But I was like, you know what? I wasn't gonna like every single painting. This is probably just, this is probably just the only one that I didn't really like, honestly. But I mean, if you guys like it, let me know in the comment section. Let me know which one out of all these seven you like in the comment section below. I gotta get back to shouting out comments, so I'm gonna get to that in the next video so comment down below if you want to be shouted out because i know i haven't been doing that recently but here's tuesday <laughs> Thank you. 
Tuesday's painting. It's uh, what time is it? 1243 so it's basically almost one o'clock in the morning again man I really need to get batteries man I just waste so much time waiting for a stupid thing to charge but I don't know I don't really like this one but you know I, I figured I wasn't gonna like every single painting considering I only have a day to finish each but I don't know let's move on to Wednesday and see what that has in store hopefully it's better than this one let's go oh my god it's Wednesday which means third painting feeling better about creative ideas that I'm getting so hopefully this one turns out better than yesterday so let's get to it. Alright day number three Wednesday middle of the week hump day with this one I really like drawing hands it's like a love hate relationship kind of thing when I draw them good I'm like really proud of myself and they look cool but when I don't draw them well and I just struggle, I absolutely hate them. It's one of those things as an artist that you have to eventually learn. And also feet, but I don't really draw feet like that. <laughs> Especially like barefoot cartoon characters. Sometimes I do, but they're really cartoony. But I decided to go with like a, a hand, hand signed painting right here. Decided to do love in hand signs. So L-O-V-E right here. And I think that this one's one of my top favorite. I'll, I'll get to the end of ranking on which one's my favorite and the least favorite. This one's definitely up there. I really like just how clean this one came out. And the hands actually turned out pretty good. And the colors all mixed very nicely. So yeah, that's Wednesday. <laughs> so I can actually get some sleep and get started early on the next one but this one's definitely better than yesterday's painting let's see what's wrong with the store so let's get to it right away I chose day four basically halfway got this longer canvas today so this one might take a little bit longer I don't know how I feel about the creative juices though today I'm not really even sure what the paint it's about noon right now Kind of been procrastinating, thinking about what the heck I'm gonna paint, but I don't know, see what we come up with. Alright, here we got Thursday. With this one, I decided to go with the character, and uh, I really like drawing just like goofy ass looking characters, so I decided I would go with like a big eyed, cheesy grin character with a bowl cut, because the bowl cut will forever be. A fire haircut <laughs> even though I don't personally have it I grew up having it so I draw a lot of my cartoon characters with bowl cuts most of the time not always I try to switch it up can't they can't all be rocking the bowl cuts and they're all just swagger jacking each other style but I guess the thinking process behind this one was just draw a big ass character on this canvas and I don't know how I really got the inspiration. I just wanted to draw a character with like a bunch of different bright colors. So he's definitely very out there. He's got a bunch of different colors and it's like a weird combination of a bunch of different things like SpongeBob and like SoundCloud rappers and just rappers in general. I don't even know, but I really like how this one turned out. This one's definitely up there with the ones that I actually like. So that's Thursday. <laughs> Gig work 
for a couple hours because I don't do this art thing full time so I actually have to leave and you know make some money so I can pay bills and stuff but I actually really like how this one came out it's definitely better even the one yesterday I would say but I couldn't decide on a cool color for the background so I just left it white but I'm tired as hell was a good combo for tomorrow hopefully get the ball rolling a little bit faster but until next tomorrow let's see what we come up with all right y'all it's the fifth day it's freaking friday here's this one kind of looks like a combination of like squidward <laughs> spongebob and like a soundcloud rapper i don't even know but i really wanted to draw a character you know i feel like all these paintings i want them all to be a little bit different and since it's already 3.30 in the afternoon, I actually gotta go to work later, which means I'm only gonna get started on a little bit. So I to size it down a little bit, considering I won't have much time, so. Might be another day where I'm up painting, but it's all good, we're gonna finish this. Get some ideas going, got some ideas, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Let's get the, at least let's catch it on before I dip out and we'll see how the rest goes the rest of the day. Stupid. And we got freaking freaking Friday. This one was probably the one that I had the least amount of time in the day to really work on because I just woke up late and I had a bunch of things that I had to do that weren't painting related. So kind of try to keep it simple with a small canvas and try to do something with like a pattern, I guess. So I went with the Murakami, however you pronounce his name. Sorry if I mispronounced it. Decided to do a bunch of his like flowers with different facial expressions and overall I actually really like how this one turned out it turned out pretty cool alright y'all got this one finished right here Murakami inspired and it's uh 1.30 in the morning pretty reasonable time to finish this all I know is I'm tired tired but I'm gonna get plenty of sleep cause tomorrow I wanna top all the paintings that I've done this far also got some crazy bitch outside yelling at her boyfriend or some shit. It's like, man, can't really hear her right now. I think she shut up, but I don't know. Let's see what tomorrow has in store. Yo, what up, guys? It's freaking Saturday, which means I got two canvases left. Well, this one's going to be a little bit bigger. I got a couple ideas floating in the old imagination box, so let's see what we come up with. It'll be something dope. Finish this, you know. Not too late, but let's get into it right now. Alright, now here we got Saturday. Now, if you're under 18 or you got your parents in the room, you better <laughs> skip ahead on this one. But here I was like, you know what? I'm just going to draw a big-ass booty for this one and throw a Spongebob and throw in Patrick in there. So that was basically the inspiration for this one. Because who doesn't like butts, right? So that was the thinking behind that one. There we go. Super fat. Alright, y'all. Painting number six. is done. Got one more day to go. One more day. Here's Patrick, he just discovered what a dump truck is. <laughs> Reminds me of that one funny episode where he's watching TV and then there's a dancing coral and Gary comes in and he like he like flips the channel real quick. <laughs> but um yeah, got one more day tomorrow. I'm gonna get some sleep. I'm gonna try to top all the paintings that I've done this week. But we'll see how that goes. I'm a little bit nervous. But on to tomorrow. I chose the last day. Pretty excited to finally wrap up this week. Cause painting takes a lot of time and I'm just used to, you know, knocking out a drawing a day or something. Painting is just so time consuming. And this is the last day. I really, I, I don't know. I just have a really bad freaking artist block right now. Considering I've kind of struggled the last couple days to get paintings out plus I couldn't dedicate the entire day I couldn't even dedicate really the entire day to the painting really because I need to charge the camera and I want to show the whole painting process but in the future I'll definitely tackle this again where I you know I dedicate more time I just feel like I need to step up my painting game and this kind of helped you know just having to uh, paint a canvas a day so without further ado let's see what I can come up with I'm thinking about something landscape like this but see what we come up with. Alright, Sunday. Now this one, 
I don't really know if I actually topped every single painting that I did with this one, but I really wanted to do like a landscape kind of thing, but I didn't know what kind of landscape, so I figured, you know what, I kind of want to do Super Mario landscape, because Super Mario is an awesome game, classics. And I don't know, I just think landscape, like background, the paintings are actually really dope, so I decided to go with that, and that was the thinking process behind this one. Really surprised with how this one turned out. But let's wrap up this video real quick and rank these paintings. So let's go. Alright y'all, well that wraps up the week. Seven canvases, one day for a week. Let me know in the comment section which one you like the best, which one did you like the least. In my personal rating system, I think I'm going to have to go with Cheetos Monday being my personal favorite because Cheetos Chetos are amazing. Then I'm going to have to go with the freaking character dude. And then I'm going to have to go with the love hand signs. And then the Mario uh, background. Big booty. More Kame flowers. And the little abstract thing. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Thank you for watching this video. If you made it this far, don't forget to comment. Patricio for Patrick over here being a creep. <laughs> looking over Kim Kardashian's butt. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate y'all. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos because there's gonna be plenty this year. Don't forget to keep creating. Share this video, like. Turn on the notification bell when you wanna be notified when exactly when I upload a video. Thank you once again, keep creating, keep it real. Until next time, peace and love and I'm out.